So guys, welcome back to more Mafia 3. My front bumper is about to fall off, actually. Uh, right now we're going to the next main story mission I'll show you. We've got a long way to go, but probably just transition when we actually get there. It's the only story chapter we have. Uh, time to lay it all out with Burke, Vito, and Cassandra. I'm thinking this is kind of like the thing where you pick a person and you just kind of... I don't know if we get rid of one of them or we have to do something. I did a mission like that in the early footage. Now, I don't know if... Uh, if this is the same thing. Now, and then I pick Cassandra because there's no way I'd go against Vito. He's just he's just way too nice. Uh, it might be Burke that I get rid of. But then if I do that, I don't think I can... What is it that he can do for me? He can't call in the hit squad. Maybe the police dispatcher. I think that's really about it. He's like the weakest perks. There's no way I can do without not having the uh, arms dealer. I mean, I'm, I, I can't imagine playing this game without that. That is, that is huge, so... And again, I don't know if we're to the point where we're going to do that yet or not. I don't think Cassandra's a bad person either. That's what's funny. Um, I guess based on how she's been devious before, I don't know if that's necessarily what is going to happen in this storyline if we go with her. So It's cool, though, that you can play the game multiple different ways and it affects each outcome, though. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking. Hang tight. All right, guys, we made it over here. Problem is, uh, I don't know if this is what I think it's gonna be. I'm kind of curious now. You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah, well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this time. Goddamn. If it ain't the city's favorite pot-licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcano, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcano? These two used to work for Marcano. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcano told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, these get the two. fuck out then. There's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. But that doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know. Second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list right beneath Marcano's. Now, if we're all done acting like goddamn children, let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. Let's say we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so, not pending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. Cassandra's <laughs> right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day-to-day. -day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? He's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so... Once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. 
emotions make people irrational. Greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. Hey, nice speech. Think they bought it? Okay. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on for size. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. The photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're playing fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over Nam. What now? Question mark. The map has additional missions available. Meet up with Donovan to continue going after Marcano. Our complete optional agenda and trafficking missions for your underbosses and their lieutenants. Completing agenda and traffic missions nets you extra cash. Blah, blah, blah. All right, we're good. The dead stay gone. All right. That was a nice little cutscene. Oh, we got another one, too. Hot rubber and cold blooded. What else? Compromise corruption. All right. All right, now we got more of this. If it comes to that, wasn't what I thought it was. That's probably a lot further in the game. Uh, I, was like, I don't know why I was able to post that early. Like, that seems like a really pivotal point in the game. But regardless, we're uh, going to keep going. Let me see what this next one is. Let me see which one I want to do. If we go here, Donovan's... What did the monk learn about the rackets in that area? Dirty corruption at the heart of downtown. Okay. I don't really know which one to do. I feel like this is going to be essentially... This right here seems like it's just like the stuff we've been doing, but I'm going to eventually have to do it anyways. Donovan's intel has revealed the dirt... And corruption at the heart of the downtown. Let's see. I don't know which one to do. I think I'll do this one first. Just going to kind of go along with it. It is what it is. If these missions turn out to be a lot like the previous ones, what I may do is kind of speed through them. Um, I did some pretty decent editing on the uh, last video where I had to do some stuff like that. So hang tight, guys. All right, guys. Hauling ass. Oh, God. I need to hop off this bridge at some point. Uh, detour! Oh shit! <sighs> Hang on, Lincoln! We're good. That was actually kind of cool. <laughs> Didn't actually do too much. The one thing I noticed is my health bar. I know I did that one mission and uh, it didn't, I think after you get to a certain point, it unlocked a higher health bar. Now, I don't know later in the game when I have to part ways with one of the characters. I'm gonna lose most of that stuff. Which kind of sucks, so we'll see what happens. Is this it? I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot. It's humid. Most of the time it smells like that goddamn river. It smells all right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. The Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then, hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano, and he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. 
There's gotta be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now, and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we gotta force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. All right, story mission unlocked auto theft. Could they not just say Grand Theft Auto? Oh, would there be some copyright in there? That's kind of funny. What do you think you're doing? All right, I'm loitering, I guess. Do you have some health pack in your bathroom, like sir? Let me just run back there. Excuse me. All right, Lieutenant Frank. I can't even say that last name. I'm going to try to pronounce it. Hang on. It's about to be cringeworthy. Pagani. How about that? Did I, did I get it right? Eliminating Frank will undoubtedly reveal intel that you can use against Tommy Marcano. All right, let's do this. This, dog, this. this guy's still giving me shit for being in the restaurant. All right, auto theft is a blue mission. Now, hold on. Let's see what this is. Now, okay, so I'm guessing down here it was kind of like do those little missions that... They're all kind of the same. I'm guessing these up here, it's like the same type of setup, except it's a little bit different. We're not doing that kind of stuff. I'm just going to go see what this auto mission is. This uh, quote-unquote auto theft, but it's not grand. Alright, let's do this, guys. The fact that it linked me meeting that guy to this. Really? Are you kidding? Can I not just steal a car in peace? Oh boy. Oh, I knew that pole would not give. And they're closing in. Look at that. You guys seen Tremors too when the, uh, they have a little like radar or whatever. Watching everything. Oh, it just flashed. Did you see that? I think that was that uh, PTSD thing that was talked about or whatever. A couple videos back. Yeah, and Tremors 2, it's like the worst movie ever, but it's so funny. I love the first one. I kind of grew up watching those kind of movies. It was funny, though, because uh, all the uh, Graboids were, like, coming after them. And it kind of looks like that for a minute when they're all surrounding you in this game. So I have to break in to talk to him? I could have just walked in, I think. I literally think, I don't think anybody's going to shoot at me yet. All units, oh, pursuit yeah. is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. So you the scary motherfucker who gonna deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Set it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to bring us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in the cell upstate around Eastern. Oh. Sorry. He shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the best old gas station around the way. Got some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here, but knowing how many nice new rides gone missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. Boys don't scare easy, but you still need to get some of them to talk. Nice. Easy way to check something. Let me just do this really quick. Story chapters. Uh, okay. There it is. Damage remaining. So, okay. I'm starting to see, like, the structure of the game a little more now. So, let's continue with this one, I guess. Problem is, where do I go for this one at? I'm gonna kill this guy. This random dude. Well, I'll just have a marker on the map to just go execute somebody. Gonna hop over the wall. Oh, you, you should be able to do that, man. Alright, hang on. I'm about to go kill this guy. I'm about to hurry it up, too. Hang on. Need new wheels and tick fall. On a lot. Just getting there warmed up. So guys, check it out. I didn't know I could call this in, but uh, 
apparently, I guess, as you progress further and further with that character, That's you can get deal. more vehicles, so it's kind of nice. The vehicle delivery is not that... I don't think I really need it that much, because you can always steal one. Granted, cops can spot you, and you know, it might be uh, kind of a risky thing, but where, whereas guns, you can't always just get replenished health and everything, so... I don't know which one I'd have to do away with. Definitely not getting rid of the gun guy. <laughs> I need those arms dealer brought to me ASAP every time. Can I just walk in here and kill this guy? I about died right there. Holy shit. All right, guys, let's go. <laughs> what is that? Be ridiculous. I kind of want to wait. So if they call people, what's the matter with that? I don't. I don't get anything for being around here. I will take this money though. It's like 500. Oh my god, they're gonna get me again. All right, hang on. Well, we 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 gotta get out of here. Reinforcements have arrived. That's fine. That didn't do any damage to the uh, bracket or whatever. I got a long way to go. Oh, I'm just gonna run. Let's see what the next one is. We're already over here. Let's do this one. I'm guessing one of these, since there's only like three things on the map from what I'm seeing, unless they're spread out, I'm guessing that one's gonna give me a lot more. Let's see which ones are unlocked. What about... Oh, yeah, I can get these too. Nice. Now, hold on. Need new wheels and tick fall. Hi. I'll get around to you right away. I'm curious. Which one is this? This is a little fast machine. Oh, that's a badass looking car too. Is that a hot wheel? It's just like your arm. That's a big hill. This looks like a damn mafia car. What was that? Oh, what was that car in Grand Theft Auto 3? Like it was, it was blacked out. The mafia drove it. Um, shit! How did that just do that much damage to me? I think it was called the Sentinel or something. Oh man, I used to love that game. No, 100 percent of that game. I'm not even kidding. That and Vice City, because I'm a big nerd. The the pre YouTube days. Oh yeah, this is nice. My favorite car so far, easily. Guys, I don't know what happened. My game crashed. I, uh, <laughs> I'm all disoriented now. Uh, spawned in that area where I was talking to that girl, and then... I'm actually right next to the shipment area where I'm supposed to go to, so it kind of worked out. Can I just hop the fence? Destroy boosted car shipment. Now, I'm feeling like since this is 36k left... We got this and that. That's killing somebody. It's only gonna give me a couple thousand. I don't see any other spots that have that color, so... Destroying a car should give me a lot of damage, right? I mean, it should, but we'll see. Wait, could I call in the guy? Hang on. I say, I wonder how much it would be to get some grenades. Let's hit these fuckers here at the hall. I'll just kill all these guys and then be done with it. Can I shoot through the wall? I see stashes of money. I see everything. So it's gonna work out. These guys did not stand any- Oh my god, there's a lot of cars in there. I need grenades or something. Propane tank. Hold on. I guess that tank does not do anything. Dude, that was so dirty. What kind of gun is that he's got? I absolutely love the uh, reaction from that, so. I was just thinking, like, yeah, I got, I got these. I haven't tried these other grenades. Uh, let me see if I have to throw the fire on it. 
It might not even do any damage, but whatever. Nice. I need like the grenades. There's no way. Let me get this guy. Shit, I'm hiding from me. All right, collect this money, and then it is grenade throwing time. Eight hundred fifty dollars. Eight no, eight eight seventy five. Excuse me. Nice. That is a lot. All right, let me get these things destroyed. I don't think I ever will, but. There we go. Oh, shit. 3K per car. Okay, what we got? One. We got four here, so that's going to be 15 on this side and 15 on the other. Oh, this is a nice car, though. I feel like I should be like, shoot the gas tanks. Maybe, like, be on this side or that side. Let me see. Okay, I guess these don't have gas tanks. That's kind of weird. Oh, wait. This is... There it is! Ooh, there it is, guys. They can't call it that, but it is what it is. That takes it. It makes it so much easier. We got a couple left. This will be a chain reaction. Guarantee it. Here it goes. Wait, wait. It destroyed it, but, uh... Oh, no. There's a barrel right there. Here we go. Alright, they're good. I should get both of them. A little bit more. Nice! Let's go, boys. 30k off, off that one thing. How much left on that? That was simple. They didn't make, they didn't stretch it out. They didn't, uh, do anything, really. Let's go talk to this guy. I guess, you know what? When we come back next time, I will continue with the, uh, missions over here. At least these are different. I like that. I love you guys. Thanks for watching, and take it easy.